Thursday's protest is the first time this week that a group of one to 200 protesters standing here outside of City Hall disbanded without a confrontation from police. It's possible the heavy rain and large police presence downtown played a role in that. Warnings blare from an Orlando police loudspeaker minutes before a mandatory curfew takes effect. The crowd of protesters calling for changes to policing became agitated with police commands. Orlando police have been using these bike officers to direct traffic and move the crowd into certain areas of downtown Orlando. However, almost all of the demonstrators left the area outside of City Hall just before 8 p.m. This marked the end of a day of peaceful protests. And the sixth day in a row, protesters marched through downtown Orlando. For us, it means everything because people are still showing up. You know, I, I'm here every single day and I love to see the fact that people are still showing up and it's, I keep seeing a lot of new faces. Chopper 2 recorded protesters shutting off traffic to the roadway. A few people were detained, but the vast majority of the group moved through the city without issues. Six days in, it does not appear the George Floyd protests are going to end in Central Florida. It's not a moment, it's a movement. So. One of the organizers said that Thursday's protest was focused on people sharing their experiences with law enforcement. In Orlando, Chris Guardaro, WESH 2 News.